I would say it's hard to pick what my favorite Tom Natchew moment is, but uh, certainly the number one story has to be the Michael Galati stolen wallet story from most sport. Uh, we've heard him tell it, you know, more than a half dozen times, and uh, didn't matter because each time you'd hear it, uh, when he would get to the punchline, you'd be, you know, falling out of your chair. One thing about we miss in the early Tom, and um, uh, I'm stunned by that. But uh, we had a lot of fun with Tom. Tom was full of life. I mean, he just enjoyed every minute. And I remember the first time I met him, uh, I was up in Massport. I just won the race. I was on the podium. And uh, uh, he was asking me, so how was the race? What do you think of this track? I said, oh, Massport, it's awesome. It's one of the best. Uh, it's, for me, it's sort of the favorite race track. It's so fast. And the people over here are wonderful fans. But I said, but some son of a bitch just stole my wallet. So, <laughs> And after that, he just would remind me every time I saw him about that. But uh, he was one of the greatest, I think, announcer I ever, I ever met. I mean, he could keep the show alive. I mean, he was making, uh, I think, it was going to be missed a lot. I mean, I'm still under shock. Uh, I can't believe it. But uh, he was a great guy. Hey, we lost a, we lost a really, really great guy uh, last week, uh, Tom Natchew. Uh, he was terrific. It was always a pleasure to uh, cross his path, and uh, I used to really enjoy him on TV and, uh, you know, watch his shows, and I would specifically watch his shows because I enjoyed the, him, you know, he came across well, and he just was a great guy. When you saw him in, in person at the track and stuff like that, it was just a, a pleasure. So he was one of those really, really good guys.